In this topic of Windows 11 course, we will see how to install the drivers for a specific laptop manufacturer. In the earlier video, what we have seen is we have gone to the HP website and we have downloaded the drivers for the specific model. Since this is a virtual machine which is running on the VMware, for me there is no need to install. Just for the sake of demo, I have downloaded the drivers and I will demo how to install the drivers. We will go to the download folder where all the drivers are downloaded. So this is the download folder where all our drivers are downloaded. I want to extract all these files to install the drivers. To extract the file, I will double click on the driver file. This is specific to the audio driver. This is a real tech high definition audio driver. I will click on S and I will click on next. I will accept the agreement. I will click on next and I wanted to save all the drivers in one particular folder. So I will save in the same folder under HP Pavilion directory and I will click on next. So this exe file is getting extracted and it will be stored in this folder. So this is for the audio driver. The extraction is complete. So once we have downloaded, we need to execute this particular application. We need to execute as administrator. I will right click on the exe file and I will click on run as administrator to execute this particular file. If there is no chipset which is meeting for this driver, it is not going to install. So we don't have any chipset for the Realtek audio driver. Definitely it is not going to install. And it is same for the display driver as well. If I double click on this, this is for WLAN. And if I want to extract, I can select. I will accept the license and I will again, I will use the same folder for extraction. HP Pavilion and this is for WLAN and I will extract in the folder. So this is for WLAN and if I want to extract the driver for the display, this is the driver for the display what I have downloaded and this display driver is for Intel chipset. So this is Intel high definition graphics driver and accept the license agreement and again I will use HP Pavilion. This is for graphics. I will create a folder so that there is no confusion which driver is for which chipset. So this seems to be a big file so it is still getting extracted and once all the files are extracted you can double click on the folder and select the application which you want to install right click and select run as administrator so that the driver get installed if you are installing a graphics driver or any other driver which is not as per the hardware requirement, then it is not going to install. That you need to keep in mind. So now none of the drivers are getting installed because I am using virtual machine on top of the VMware workstation. So now once the graphic drivers has been installed, we need to set the resolution for the display. There are multiple ways how you can set the resolution for the display either you can click on the blank desktop area and select the display settings you can select this way and you can select the display resolution from here and choose the correct display or you can click on the start button and select right click and choose the settings 
in the system you can click on the display and from here you can choose the resolution or you can simply click on the start button either you can click on settings or you can search for display here you can just type display you'll see the display settings so either way you can come to the display section and you can select the resolution since my base laptop is 1920 by 1080 resolution i will select the 1920 by 1080 which is full hd resolution i'll click on this and i will keep the changes now the resolution is changed and my windows operating system looks better and the display is also proper i will close the window in case if you wanted to install the driver you can right click like this select the device manager and choose the display adapter over here right click the display adapter go to the properties and click on the drivers and then click on update driver you can browse for the driver file since we have located all our file under my documents download and this is for graphics i can just mention the path i can specify the path for the drivers for the drivers to be installed if i click on ok it will automatically pick up the drivers file for the graphics it is going to install the graphic driver now since the graphic drivers are installed i will cancel this most of the drivers are included within the windows operating system itself the display driver the audio drivers any specific driver which are updated by the manufacturer you need to go and download from the manufacturer website then install the specific driver apart from that most of the drivers will be included within microsoft windows 11 operating system that's it for this topic i'll see you in the next topic